Good morning, you beautiful people. It is day number five of trying to see how long we can get $100 to last in Poland. We have $60 left, which means we're averaging about $10 a day. A little disappointing, I thought I could do better than that. But you can probably save more money if you're not buying hamburgers for homeless people or sour skittles. I am in a very poor mood right now. I got maybe four hours of sleep last night. What I didn't mention in my last video about cheap hostels is that while the hostel itself might be fine, they tend to attract a certain kind of clientele. They tend to attract people that don't want to spend a lot of money. And so last night there was one of the people in the hostel with me who was sick as a dog. He had snot coming down to his nose. He was coughing all night. Um, I'm pretty sure if I would have stayed there a couple more nights, I would have another dead roommate story. So we're going to get out of there and let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast today, I got a little bit of a sweet tooth. I got a chocolate covered croissant. I got a cinnamon roll and I got this little uh, red and yellow thing. I want to try what the different desserts look like. I also got one of these ham and cheese pizza things and a Diet Pepsi. This was $2.90. And as just an added bonus, there's no dead birds in the frame, you'll notice. Hmm. The croissant is very croissanty. Uh, not, doesn't have a very strong chocolate. It's got like a very light chocolate inner coating, but it's, it's definitely more croissant than it is chocolate. Now for the cinnamon roll. I've never been especially fond of cinnamon rolls before, so, um, hmm. very strong cinnamon. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty bready. Like you can see, it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, bready. The fucking wind knocked over my little, I'm still going to eat it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed with the cinnamon rolls. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit sweeter than just like a roll, yeah, this is good. And now let's check out our little pink and yellow thing. I have no idea what this is at all. Oh, I think the pink stuff is jelly. I have no idea what the yellow stuff is. It might be like banana cream or like yogurt. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me eat. I need to make these videos longer because I need to hit 4,000 watch hours. <laughs> it's very dry, it's very flaky. Um, and that has nothing to do with the fact that it fell on the ground. That's just like the bread. Hmm. I actually like this less than the chocolate croissant. So this gets like a two out of 10. Hmm. Every time I stop at a coffee shop for work, I need to be very conscientious to use the outlets so I can charge up as many devices as I can. It starts off with small things like my smartwatch, battery packs, headphones. Uh, but as these get charged up, I'll swatch them out for things like my laptop or my tablet or my phone. Oh, coffee is not cheap. Oh my God, it is so hard to record indoors because there's so much background noise and people talking and music and stuff. I need to come outside every time I want to talk to you guys. That's not that great, actually. Can I tell you guys what I'm working on right now? You guys know that I'm a software engineer, right? I write code, that's what I do. But nobody actually wants to see me write code. It's, it's not aesthetic. Semicolons and brackets aren't good to look at. So instead, I'm gonna explain this. Let's pull this down. I have an app. I've been working on it for a while. The only problem is that I can't actually get it on app stores. Google, Apple, Huawei, they don't want cryptocurrency miners on their play stores. So I have a really hard time getting my app in front of other people to use. I need to come up with a better way to market it. And so my plan right now is to pivot. I'm going to make my app work on desktops so that you can use this on your old laptop, you can use this on your gaming computer, your MacBook, whatever. And then in the actual desktop app while you're mining, there'll be a QR code right there that says, hey, download this on your phone and earn extra cash. That way I'll be able to use the desktop platform to advertise for the mobile app. I do actually eat healthy food. This panini right here was $3.55. $3.55. This is the hostel I'm gonna be staying at tonight. It's up here on the second floor, apparently. Apparently they don't take cards, so I'm gonna go find another hostel. Um, even though they clearly say that they take cards, I've gotta find another hostel. Apparently their card reader terminal didn't work. Uh, so they had no way to be able to process my transaction. This is the new hostel we're gonna be staying at. This cost $8.14. So it's a little bit more expensive than the last one, but it's a lot better.
Okay, that is the end of our fifth day in Poland. We have $40.21 left. And do you know how a lot of big YouTubers will ask you to like, like and subscribe and comment something, something algorithm? I just wanna let you guys know 